friends welcome to my video in this short video we'll see how to delete a file from the ftp server from your android app java code so let's begin we create a new project to do it from ftp you can name this anything it doesn't matter click on finish and wait for the environment to load it might take a while in the meantime i'll just quickly show you that i'll be using the Apache command its library which is used for FTP client. So I'll be using the latest version 3.10 and this is what I'll be using in my Gradle file. And also in my local computer, uh, local network, I have created an FTP server on this particular IP and I have uploaded few files in this particular directory. So that's what I'll be using to in this demo to delete one of these files. So let me go back to my Android Studio environment. It is still loading, so we may have to wait for a while. Environment has come up. So first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll go to the Gradle file and put the this particular dependency. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then we may have to sync now. But there is some okay. I think we have to just uh, include it. As a part of like new library catalog let's do it and then click on sync now so this will go as a part of this particular library over here common nets so this is the version what we are including and this is the name of the uh, library what we are including yeah so it may take a while to sync i'm not sure why it didn't start and in the meantime what we can do is we can also go to the manifest file and define the required permission so the only one permission which i think we'll need in this is the permission for internet just do that so that's all in terms of files so i'll just minimize this and i can also start my emulator now in parallel so i think this syncing has also been done so everything looks good now so now i'll go to my layout part so over here what i'll do is i'll okay so i'll do one thing i will put some plain text one is for username so i'll just bring it in the center in the middle and i'll give it FTP admin is my username. I know this, and I'll give it some constraints. My ability is also coming up in parallel on the right hand side. So, okay, it has come up. So, I'll just minimize it for the time being. Let me quickly complete other things. So, so I think I may have to expand a little bit. I don't think why this is there. I can just minimize it for a time being. I can make it bigger. So, yeah, this is looks good now. And I can change it to probably edit text username. Yeah, refactor, click on yes, and then that's it. The other one, what I'll do is I'll insert another uh, edit text for the password. And again, I can make it a little bigger. And over here, of course, I can't type initial password so I'll, what i'll do is i'll give some hints over here password enter password here enter password yeah and i'll do one more thing okay so this looks good this has password text, so that's fine yeah so that's all and then i'll put, just put a button so that i can trigger or initiate the deletion of the file so delete the file rest of the things i will hard code delete File. but yeah at least you know password i'll need to fetch from the end user which i can't hard code in that uh, code this for text view i'll just give text view and in terms of text i'll give the size or i'll increase the size probably and also i'll change the alignment to center yeah. so that's all in terms of my the odd part now quickly in the java code i'll define few class variable one will be edit text username and the other one will be edit text password and another variable what i'll need is for text view text view text view status and in this on treatment itself, I will associate these variables to the light widget in my layout. So for that, I can just use this 
password id find you by id method yeah the password i have already done so i will do the second one which is username find you by id r dot id dot this one third one yeah and same thing for text view status as well find you by id r dot id dot text view yeah. so this we can use for printing our status yeah now this is done i will define a public method public void button delete file you can name this method anything it doesn't matter the only thing is we have to associate it with the on the attribute of the button so for that we'll go back here and in this if you scroll down there will be a property called on click just associate it with that so whenever this button is clicked that particular method will be called perfect now over here we can do our main coding which is pretty much simple so first and foremost we need to find something called ftp client New FTP client and then we have to connect it first. FTP client dot connect and we have to give the host name. So in our case it's IP, so we can give the IP also, both is fine. Once this is done, okay, it will ask me to wrap it around try catch. So just do it. And the other thing what I need is to log in now. Log in and the username and password is what it will require. So we can do username get text dot to string and same thing for password we can do edit text for password dot get text dot to string yeah all the password will be like uh, when you type in the ui it will be more of a uh, a strict form non-readable form but code will be able to read from this part so not one of over there so once that is done so what i can do is i can first and foremost change the working directory so my working directory should go to this what usb underscore one underscore one slash files so let me do that usb one underscore one slash files and then semicolon so once we have changed the active now we can call the our delete command which is basically delete file and we have to give only the file name over here so there are few files here if i refresh so what we can do is we can delete this file images underscore remote dot jpg so let's try with that images underscore remote dot jpg normally we should do a check whether that file exists or not but i'm just making keeping this code very very simple so that i can show you and then we can uh, probably log out and disconnect over here log out and disconnect also disconnect Probably I can do one more thing in this I can take this as an output in a boolean boolean status yes and I can print this in my text view status set text string dot value of boolean status so this will give me the output over here so that's all let me read on most of the things i have hard coded the host name and the files but you can even take this as a user input in your actual code so my code is coming up now everything is good perfect so let me enter the password now so i have entered the password username is anyway ftp admin for my case so let me click on this so it crashed and I think I know why it is crashing because we are doing this network operation on the main thread, so that should not be done. So there are two workarounds. One quick workaround is just we can define our own thread policy by inserting these lines of the code. So that's what I'll do. The other uh, or better option could have been we should have done this in the separate thread. Uh, nevertheless, let me read on and see. Most likely it should work this time because we are now doing a permit all for our thread policy, and that's what we are setting it in the thread policy this time. So let me enter the password again. I entered the password. Now let me perfect. So status is true, which is coming basically from this line. And let me go to my this one. So this file still exists, but if I think if I refresh this file, should no more be visible. Perfect. So that's that has been deleted. I can do this experiment with some other file, probably images one dot jpg. That's what also I can do very quickly. So let me do one thing. Just change the file name to images one dot jpg. Read on the code. Let me see how it comes up. 
so this time we will delete this third file from here let me enter the password again password enter so clear again it's true if i go back it is still the same thing but if i refresh this file will go perfect that file is gone so similarly you can do it for n number of files even for directory and all but i just wanted to keep the code very simple that you have to just call the delete file uh, api or method on the ftp client uh, object over here and give the file resume to that's all so i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comments below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day